Hey, what's up everyone? In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the Binance Smart Chain, a complete beginner introduction. Ideally, you watch some of the videos earlier in this playlist so you have that foundation of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But basically, long story short, some dude or some company invented Bitcoin, Bitcoin was then forked and Ethereum was born, and then later down the road, Ethereum was forked and the Binance Smart Chain was born. Before we get too deep into this, I just wanted to give a special thank you to our sponsor. Crypto.com is a simple app to buy and sell cryptocurrency. With one of the largest selections, this is the perfect app to explore different cryptocurrencies, their prices, and information about them. Additionally, you're able to stake your cryptocurrency for consistent growth in your balance. Best of all, Crypto.com is known for their Crypto Rewards debit card. Get crypto back for every purchase and get started for free. Sign up with the referral code CALEB and get a $25 bonus when you stake for the Ruby debit card. Look for a link below. So Binance Smart Chain, BSC, you often hear it. This is a network that can very well compete with Ethereum, but it has some key changes and that is one, it's really fast with transactions. So the transaction throughput is very quick. Now this chain is competing with Ethereum right now and the price of BNB, the coin of this network, is going up very quickly. What essentially is this? Well, we have Binance. And Binance is a company behind Binance the Exchange as well as Binance.us. And they decided, hey, we want to create a chain for decentralized finance, similar to Ethereum, but we want those fees to be very, very low. So to do this, we can actually centralize the network and that'll allow the transactions per second to be much higher with much lower fees. So it's centralized, decentralized finance, which just sounds weird, but just go with it for a little bit. Basically, Binance and the Binance Smart Chain is allowing these blockchain apps to be built without the extreme fees of Ethereum. Yeah, there is the centralization issue with the Binance Smart Chain, but some people aren't really concerned with that, and the apps being built on the Binance Smart Chain are still very innovative and are contributing to this whole blockchain system. So over time, I think, you know, all these issues are kind of going to iron themselves out. But, you know, apps might be built on the Binance Smart Chain, ported over to some more decentralized chains, or the Binance Smart Chain will become more decentralized over time once some of the challenges of transactions per second are improved. So I don't really know what the future holds for this. All I know is that as soon as Binance Smart Chain came out, it exploded and everybody started creating apps and their new tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. So all of the apps that are on Ethereum, there's often a Binance Smart Chain equivalent. For example, Uniswap on Ethereum to swap different tokens. There's PancakeSwap on Binance Smart Chain. The biggest challenge with the Binance Smart Chain is how do you actually get started with it? Because you need BNB, which means you ultimately need money, but let's say you have BNB, and you want to start working with these Binance Smart Chain apps and tokens, you're going to probably use PancakeSwap. But a big challenge is you can't just use BNB that you get from an exchange. That's because BNB originally was on the Ethereum blockchain. So what that means is there's actually multiple kinds of BNB. So what you need to do is you need to go from BNB on the exchange over to BEP20 BNB or what you might just hear as BSC BNB basically BNB on the Binance smart chain so if you're using Binance.com you know if you're not from America and you're on the Binance exchange you might be given the option to withdraw your BNB as BEP20. Me, in America, when I try to withdraw BNB, I'm only given the option BEP2, which is not quite what we want. So to get around this, there's a few different things you can do, and one solution right now is to use a certain wallet that will allow you to do this exchange. 
So basically the entire process looks like this. Binance.us, the exchange, you buy it there, or you know, you could also buy it on any of the other exchanges such as crypto.com or Coinbase or whatever it might be. You just need to get BNB. Then you can send this to a wallet on your phone called the Trust Wallet. And in here, there's a decentralized exchange where you can swap from the original BNB to Binance Smart Chain BNB. And then that's going to give you that final result. Binance Smart Chain BNB. You can then use this BNB for all of the different apps and you can swap for different tokens through something like PancakeSwap. So ideally in the next you know, few months or next year or really soon, we can basically skip this process where we don't need that decentralized exchange and we just automatically have Binance Smart Chain BNB because it's, a, it's an option when we withdraw from Binance.us. So that's what we want. So we want it to give us the option to withdraw BEP20. Not quite there yet, but I could see that happening really soon because there was announcements that that is how it works on Binance.com. And you know, Binance.us kind of follows Binance.com just a little bit slower. So I think that'll happen soon. So I thought I'd have a lot more for this video, but that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to talk about. So what we'll do is in the next video, we'll get some hands-on experience with this and it'll be great. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, and let me know what other networks or topics you want me to talk about in this blockchain series.